what's going on people switchbrew here and welcome back to another nintendo switch video so in this video what i'm going to be showing you how to do is how to install the tesla menu for the nintendo switch console so i did previously have a video of this however nintendo blocked it from everyone due to the fact that it was showing how to install cheats also so in this video basically what i'm going to be showing you how to do is just how to install the tesla menu but i'll be also putting a fast cfw over in there just as an example so the first thing you'll want to do before doing anything is you'll want to connect your nintendo switch's sd card to the pc or you want to connect the nintendo switch console to the pc via a usb cable so what i'm going to do that what i'm going to do now is i'm going to connect the console up to the pc via a usb c cable so bear with me guys so guys as you can see i have now connected the nintendo switch console to the pc and you can see the root of my sd card and basically these are the three following files that you're going to need you don't have to download the fast cfw um file this is just being used as an example it's just a fast uh, custom firmware um file which basically when you put it in the tesla menu overlay it allows you to reboot to hecate pretty f quickly on the patched uh, consoles as we don't have access to reboot to payload like the v1 unpatched consoles do so i use this so what we're going to do is get started i have extracted the following three files here these will be provided in the alien retro gaming discord server and you'll be able to download them from there so yeah as i said let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this overlays folder here and what we're going to do is first of all scroll down to the switch folder on the sd card and you want to go ahead and grab the overlays folder and just drag that into here like so once that's completed you want to go back to the root of the sd card like so you want to go up and find the atmosphere folder and you want to go into here once you're in here you want to go to the contents folder and you want to go ahead and grab this file here and drag that into the contents folder once you've done that that's pretty much the tesla overlay menu installed what i'm going to do now is add the fast cfw so what i'm going to do is go back to the root of the sd card for now and i'm going to open this file up and as you can see we've got two folders we've got overlay and config so first of all config you're going to find the config folder on the root of your sd card and open that up i'm then going to open this config folder and i'm just going to go ahead and uh, drag the fast cfw switch folder across sorry and what it's going to say for me is it's going to say do you want to replace it obviously because i've already got it installed so i'm just going to go ahead and click yes you then want to go back again to the root of your sd card and you want to head up back to the switch folder once you're in the switch folder what you want to do is go into the dot overlays folder and then you want to go into the overlay folder on here and you just want to drag in the fast switch dot ovl file into the overlay section and that is that installed now if you guys have issues not being able to see the overlays folder this is because you need to basically on your computer on windows you need to find the option or go into folder options i think it is and you need to allow show hidden files and folders i believe it is and then you'll be able to see this following folder here so what we're going to do now guys is now that's all installed is we're going to switch over onto the nintendo switch console itself and we're going to have a look to make sure it's actually installed so what i'm going to do is pause the video go ahead and dock my nintendo switch console and we're going to switch over to the pvr to see if we can get this menu loaded so bear with me guys so guys as you can see we're now back over on the nintendo switch console after installing the uh, tesla menu so what we're going to do now is go ahead and try open this now the button configuration to open the tesla menu is you want to hold l which is the shoulder button on the controller you want to hold down on the directional pad and then you want to go ahead and press in the right analog stick so as you can see guys we've now got the tesla menu installed 
and the overlay for fast CFW which I put on the console is also there so if I were to go ahead and click A on this and press A on Hecate what that would do is quick reboot me into Hecate because unfortunately on the patch consoles like on the V1s if you go into the albums folder and you've got it set up correctly you can go ahead and press the reboot to payload button and that will take you back to Hecate however unfortunately on the patch consoles this does not work so I've got an option in Tesla menu which again is fast CFW switch which allows me to quickly reboot into Hecate so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video if it's helped in any way shape or form please like comment and subscribe but before I leave I'm going to show you one of my mates uh, YouTube channels and hopefully you guys will go over there and support him. So yeah guys, thanks for watching the video, peace out, see you in the next one. So guys, as promised just before leaving, if you guys wouldn't mind go check out the Modsmith on YouTube. Here is his following channel, he does a lot of videos on the Xbox 360. On how to install different modifications to the console how to RGH consoles etc but he has started branching out to older retro consoles such as the Game Boy Advance and he's also just gone and bought himself a Nintendo Switch console which he will be installing an RP2042 so he'll be able to do switch videos also so yeah guys if you wouldn't mind if you go over to his channel give him some love and support that would be much appreciated as I said before see you in the next video Peace.